Have you ever wondered what pregnant women go to the hostels to do all the time? They may want to listen to what I have to say. Hi, Juliana Ome is the name, and Natal Care is the topic. Some mothers usually ask questions like, how do I deal with the frequent hostel visitations during pregnancy? It's so tiring. So I made this health talk video to tell us that antenatal care is something you must go for when you're pregnant. But there are tips you should get to know. So when you do it, you do it gracefully and you get the best out of every visit. What's antenatal care? It is a systematic, that is, regular and periodic supervision of a pregnant, of a woman during pregnancy by a skilled birth attendant who is either a medical doctor or a midwife. The objective of antenatal care is to ensure a normal pregnancy with the delivery of healthy baby or babies from a healthy mother. Why is antenatal care important? Antenatal care reduces maternal and perinatal morbidity and mortality, both directly through the detection and treatment of pregnancy-related complications and then indirectly through the identification of women that are at increased risk of developing complications during pregnancy. Then how many times in a pregnancy that this is the whole thing you may ask? This is highly individualized and basically it is dependent on the type of antenatal care practice in your area or the health institutions where you visit. There are basically two types, the traditional type and then the focused antenatal care. Traditional antenatal care is quite common and you should have a total of at least 12 visits in a space of nine months. Between the time you, you get pregnant until 28 weeks of your pregnancy, you see your doctor every month. Then from 28 to 38 weeks, to 36 weeks, you see your doctor every two weeks, that's fortnightly. Then from 36 weeks to when you are 10, you see your doctor every week. Then for a focused on natural care, it emphasizes on the quality of visits as opposed to the quantity of visitations. And then you should have a minimum of four visits. The first visit is for when, from when you're pregnant, so about 16 weeks of your pregnancy, you should go once. Then between 20 and 24 weeks of your pregnancy, you get the second visit. Then between 28 and 30, um, 36, 32 weeks, yes, you get the third visit. Then from 36 weeks to 10, you get the last visit. But on special locations, you may need to frequent your doctor you know, out of the regular already stated routine. And sometimes you may even be confined in bed for almost half of your pregnancy tenor. Do not despair. Do not worry. Whatever has a beginning has an end. The most important thing is live mother and live baby or babies. And then the next question is, can I go for antenatal care in any facility of my choice? Well, the answer is yes and no. Yes. If only if the hostel or clinic has a skilled birth attendant who is either a medical doctor or a midwife, don't risk your lives, please. Then secondly, if the hospital has, you know, facilities for comprehensive obstetric care services, things like basic, you know, blood transfusion, anesthesia, cesarean section, or if they do not have them, but they have a firm, you know, referral link system with a hospital of five services, so when a mother is in need of it, they just quickly take you there, then that's still all right. What are my expectations from antenatal care? Mm -hmm. They are numerous. I always like mothers go into the hostel with expectations, know what you should get. So when you don't get it, you politely ask for it. Number one is confirmation of your pregnancy and calculation of expected date of delivery, the EDD. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you think you're pregnant while you're not. So first is to confirm and then get to know the likely period to expect the delivery of your baby so that you plan accordingly. Then basic collaborative testing and counseling. Protection of your developing fetus from anything there's a need for. For example, HIV. If your mother is HIV positive, during that natal care, you are specially guided. And your confidentiality is you know, guided and protected. So no one except you and your skin better attendant gets to know your status. Please don't shy away, okay? Baby girl, please go and protect your baby, okay? Yes, that's great. Then immunization services, especially for tetanus, which confers immunity for you, the mother, and the baby. If you have gotten your full dose, you know, of tetanus for life immunity, then you may just have a booster dose, depending on when you had the last dose. Remember, no live vaccines during pregnancy because they cause thebatogenic effects, they if affect the baby. In fact, you should take a look at the preconception care video, you know, to know the vaccines you can take before you get pregnant. Then they do expect them to assess your weight as uh, your weight gain and then your well-being, fetal assessment and well-being. 
maternal well-being in general. Then routine um, supplements and drugs like folic acid, facilitated vitamins. Then, of course, malaria prophylaxis, especially for women in malaria endemic areas. And then early detection and treatment of ailments like anemia and pregnancy, preeclampsia, you know, diabetes. This is achieved through the routine blood um, pressure checks and urinalysis. So please, amazing mothers, don't joke with the frequent urinalysis or play transurated. Do them well because the doctor and the midwife are looking out for something in the urine and in your BP. And if they see anything, they'll be able to help you. So please don't think it's a waste of time, especially when you're always having normal values. Keep doing them, okay? Thank you. Antenatal care provides you the opportunity to prepare a bed plan, you know, bed preparedness and complication readiness. In fact, we shall handle bed plan in another video. You don't want to miss it. Yes. And the next question is What if I'm tired of frequent visits? What do I do? Uh -huh. I'm going to give you the secret as what you should do. Number one, begin with the end in mind. Think of that precious life within you who depends solely on you, you know, for the best environment for survival and growth. For the fact that, you know, you're primarily involved in bringing li new life into the world and then remind yourself that it's just a matter of nine months and then it's over. So, you know, then number two, go to antenatal care with your partner because your partner will largely help you too. It is so sweet when you see men come with their wives for antenatal care. That way you'll be looking forward to the visit. They're like, Doctor, can I come tomorrow? You know? Then get connected with other mothers and your colleagues. You serve as support system for one another. Then actively plan for your birth. Flow with the tide, you know. Get involved, know your blood pressure readings, your degree of weight gain, your glucose level, everything that is done for you. Get involved, ask questions when you should. Get to know what you know, what, what you, you have done for the day. And you know, ask questions as the need arises. Once again, thank you for coming around to pick up tips to make pregnancy safer. Please do well to share this health talk video with everyone. Remember, every woman has the right to life while giving life to another. If you know better, you surely do better. So now go deal with that routine at Notar Visit and have a good, a good ride, darlings. Thank you very much. And guess what? The big topic comes up next. You don't want to miss it, I assure you. So get connected to my network on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. It's Juliana Ume. Then on Instagram, it's Juliana.ume. Thank you again. and. See you again.